Broward County still collects the so-called rain tax, money to fund programs aimed at curbing stormwater runoff pollution into the bay. But it doesn't own enough real estate to get the job done and meet federal requirements. Commercial property owners own the largest parcels of land, but the county doesn't have the authority to make them build runoff projects. So we actually created a task force of uh, large property owners, commercial property owners, and asked them, what's the best way to partner with you all? The work group established through an executive order by Howard County Executive Alan Kittleman came up with several recommendations. One suggests creating a commercial stormwater program. This will be done through a partnership coordinated through a private firm that will select, design, and build runoff remediation projects. Identify some properties that might be willing to pilot with us, find three to five of those properties, and start working to figure out um, how, what the best methodology is for us to partner to, to actually get some of these projects built on private property. Incentives include reducing or eliminating the stormwater fee, providing tax credits for stormwater projects, relief from parking space requirements, and offering green certification for storm projects. The challenge is to actually be able to identify, design, and build these projects within this short period of time. The county must treat 2,000 acres of impervious surface by 2019 at a cost of $132 million. Without the cooperation of commercial property owners, they risk violating the federal mandate and face daily stiff fines until it's remedied. In Howard County, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.